Hey, this is Evan with Octane Electrons. We're going to check out the Autofix 3210 Pro. This is a Bluetooth uh, code scanner. So, we've got the small box right here. Autofix. You can see the number right there. So, open it up. We have a small bag with the unit and an instruction manual, which I don't think we need. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the unit. So, small. I like how it's orange, you can't lose it. It's got a rubberized coating, that's nice. Right on. So, very small, easy to use. OBD2 port, I'm gonna go down here. Let me get it plugged in real quick. Okay. Plugged in down there, the light comes on, as you can see. I'm trying to get it to focus, there we go. It's got a little light on it. Now, I have downloaded the Autofix app here. It's just called Autofix. So let me see, this might be kind of hard. I gotta try to get my phone to focus well on the other phone using the app. So let's try this. Okay, Autofix. So I'm gonna tap that. I'd already started it and allowed it to have Bluetooth permissions. So that's the only thing I could see that was necessary. Um, I'm gonna go over here, switch my key it's on accessory switch it one more time to run okay so all my lights will be on now I should be able to hold this and take a look okay so oh I need to make sure my radio doesn't connect one second okay turn that off good all right so I have the app running on my other phone here you can see the connection icon up there that turned uh, blue or greenish. It says device is connected. So let's look at our options. We have diagnostic, battery check, settings, member center, help, report, and feedback. I always like to look at settings real quick, even though we don't usually change anything. Try and keep this thing focused. It always has trouble focusing on another screen. Device information, connect, check for a firmware upgrade. Ooh, there's an upgrade available. Let's go ahead and hit yes. Let's see if we can get the upgrade done. Alright, might take a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, took a few minutes. Update successful. Okay. Currently using the latest version, right on. Okay, so I don't think we need anything else there. Units, we'll leave them in English. I like that better than metric. Um, language, screen settings, display settings. Okay, I don't think we need any of that stuff. Ooh, maybe we can change to, um, there, light mode. Maybe this will show up a little better. And I saw display, no, screen settings. Horizontal, let's do this because this will probably work better on the camera. Okay, much better. So cool, it's actually got some useful settings in the app. I like that. Um, let's look at some of the other stuff. Help. Uh, so there's demos, how to connect. So good help built into the app. Feedback lets you send a feedback email. Report, we don't have any saved yet. Member center. Looks like you can log in, register an account, log in, and save your devices and vehicle profiles. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's check out battery check. So that's cool. Only detects 12 volt. Test results for reference. Voltage reference. Before and after starting. Turn off the vehicle. Please start the engine. All right, let's take a look. Cool. Man, that's pretty nice to have built right into the app. Plots voltage, shows your battery condition, and plots voltage. And you can see there it shows our minimum voltage during starting, maximum voltage during starting. That gives you a good idea of the condition of the battery. Engine off voltage. Very cool. I have not seen that before. That is a great function. I like that. Okay. I've never seen that in one of these uh, apps. That's excellent. I like that. Okay, let's hit diagnostic. We'll leave the vehicle running so we can read some live data. Okay, so it started up. We have two ECUs. I'm in my 2024 Jeep Gladiator, so I know we can't 
do tons with it, I think, because this has a security chip. So let's see. I don't think we have any trouble codes or anything. Okay, so that's easy to do. We can rescan, clear codes, deep scan. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Hmm. Okay, so it's going to download the diagnostic package for Jeep. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Okay. Does not support automatic search. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, I know Jeeps have a, uh, the newer Jeeps have a security gateway chip, which prevents you from doing quite a bit, so we're not going to be able to test everything in, in too deep I think but um, okay so very cool data stream and I'm using the second ECU I'm not sure the difference but it seems to be reading the data correctly on um, I don't know why it shows two ECUs on my G but coolant temp control voltage accelerator pedal position cool Number of warm ups, right on. And we can chart and plot all that stuff, which is always excellent. And you can select which items you wanted to see. Dashboard shows us RPM, speed, coolant temp, load, voltage, right on. Oops. Okay, freeze frame. Hmm. No freeze frames. Can we save one? Must have to save that somewhere else. Okay, vehicle information. Yeah, I can't read for some reason on the G, but I think that's because of the security gateway chip. And trouble code dictionary where you can type one in and look it up. So, very cool. Let's go back to the other EC and see if that changes anything. Data stream. Okay, well, it's reading from both. I don't know. Oh, there we go. We can tap the chart icon next to each one. There we go. Engine RPM. And then see a chart of just that item. Otherwise, you can hit chart and see all the items, which is probably a lot. <laughs> right on. So this is great. This is a pretty full-featured... Uh, Full featured app. Let's see what else we got. O2 sensors. Oh, right on. We can read the voltage on both. Um, onboard monitoring test. So there's definitely different functions available based on <coughs> which ECU I select. EGR. Interesting. Okay. Performance monitor, trip recording, I am readiness should be fine. Uh, interesting. So they definitely have some features in here meant for you to leave this plugged in um, to your device all the time. Or into your car all the time, I mean. So that's interesting. Um, you could definitely do some cool stuff with it if you use it that way let me go back one more time and look at i'm in the second ecu available let me try deep scan here and see if anything changes yes it does find the vin number okay yeah it won't work automatic okay yeah i do have a feeling it's it's due to the security gateway and i don't have an unlock code through uh through chrysler to do that but okay, very cool. So it has lots of nice features built into it. You could leave this plugged in all the time um, for sure to do lots more with it. The app is excellent. I, I've tested other um, Bluetooth scanners, and this is definitely one of the better apps. I'm pretty impressed with that. So I think this is a great unit. It's small, portable, um, doesn't require an, a login or subscription or anything to use the features. Free app, probably the best app I've seen for a uh, Android 
um, OBD2 scanner. So yeah, I'd check it out. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting a little dark and maybe hard to see, but Autofix 3210 Pro, I think this works well. I would definitely recommend this, so good product. Right on, thanks for watching. See ya.